This is the Al Halban district of Taiz, outside the enclave. Over 300 patients come here to the mother and child hospital every day. MSF opened this facility in November 2015, as most of the city's public health structures are in the area under siege and there is a lack of access to health care. Priority is given to the critically ill, pregnant women and children. Because of the airstrikes and the shelling, this mother waited until sunrise to bring her child to the hospital. Yesterday she got a fever and started vomiting and coughing. And then at sunset she had a sort of spasm. We wanted to come to the hospital then, but there's a war out there. It was night. It's too dangerous. So we waited until daylight and then made the journey. This young boy is having trouble breathing. He probably has an acute chest infection. We'll give him the medication he needs and keep him under observation for three days. We'll also be running some laboratory tests. Just a few kilometers away is the part of the city besieged by the rebels. After five months of intense negotiations, MSF teams have at last been able to enter the enclave and deliver essential medical supplies to Al Thawra Hospital, one of only two public hospitals still open. These facilities are in desperate need of more aid. They do have, still have some stuff, but they don't have any more medicines, they don't have oxygens, and they have very limited power. Um, while outside the population have no public hospital to go to, and uh, considering the economic crisis that the war has brought with them, the people have no money to go to private hospital. So on both sides, the civilian populations are really in a critical condition. MSF teams are due to return with more supplies in a few days. There used to be 20 hospitals for 600,000 inhabitants in Thais. Just four continue to function, and even then, only partially.